Today I'm asking the question, what would my dog's Minecraft house actually look like? So I'm taking on a build challenge where you have to spin the wheel to pick all of the aspects of a house. This build challenge is inspired by my friends LD Shadow Lady and Catherine Elizabeth. I'll link their challenge videos down below. For this video though, I've got a special guest. This is my nine week old chocolate lab puppy. Her name is Winnie. Winnie, we're gonna be building you a Minecraft house today. <laughs> Winnie has no idea what's going on, but I'm gonna let her sit here in my lap while we pick what my puppy's house is going to look like. Winnie, it's the very first, very important decision, okay? Let's see. Let's see what biome we're gonna get. We got a birch forest, Winnie! You're gonna live in a birch forest like me! <laughs> I'm so glad that my puppy also likes birch forests. That's perfect. Now it's time, very importantly, to pick the type of house that we're going to do. Winnie, would you like to tell the people? We have Victorian, Suburban, Treehouse, Modern, Medieval, or just like a classic dog house. Winnie, let's see what we're going to build for you today. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Victorian! Oh, that's so exciting, Winnie! You're gonna get a Victorian house in a birch forest. That's so good. <laughs> so this one is very important. This is gonna be for the roof. What are we gonna build Winnie's Victorian house roof with? Concrete, wool, sandstone, ores, stone, wood, or terracotta? Let's find out, Winnie. Okay, I'm pressing it. Oh, it's right on the line. Concrete! Oh, concrete, Winnie! You're gonna be a little concrete puppy. Okay, I can work with that. I feel like concrete is very workable. It's very colorful. Okay, so this next one is gonna be the main wall block. <laughs> you ready to pick a wall block? Let's see what we've got. And it looks like it's gonna be wood. Right, Winnie. So far, we've got a birch forest, some concrete, and some wood. Now, uh, which color am I building out of? This is the final picker. This is for the color theme for Winnie's house. Let's see what we're gonna get, Winnie. Oh, we're so sleepy. We're so sleepy. <gasps> and you got pink! Oh, Winnie! That's gonna be so cute! Winnie has a yellow collar on right now, but we like pink as well, so we will work with that. You're gonna have a pink Victorian house, Winnie. Well, it's time for me to join the Minecraft world now and get to work and let this puppy get back to napping and playing. There she goes. And welcome to Minecraft. I went ahead and found us this beautiful birch forest biome for my puppy. And now the very first thing that we need to do is clear out some of these very tall, impressive birch trees to make room for our puppy's Victorian house. Gosh, some of these trees are tall. Okay, this area right here should be cleared out enough. Now let's figure out what exactly we get to build out of. We know that our roof material is concrete and that our theme is pink, so that's a great start for the main color. Then we also know that the wall blocks are gonna be wood and I didn't specify a type, so we have quite a lot of options here. Uh, what goes best with pink? Oh, definitely this one. Right, now what we've got to do is lay out the foundation for the Victorian house. I haven't built one of these in a very long time, so I'm kind of nervous. I don't, I don't want to fail Winnie. I, I got this. I got this. Victorian houses are really interesting looking, and I'm pulling one up on the side of my monitor right now just to help me sort of lay out the shape of this foundation. I can only use wood, so I think this is gonna look a little bit silly, but we'll do the best that we can. I'm just, I'm very glad we didn't get like wool or something. That would be, that would be embarrassing. Okay, this will be sort of one side of the house, and then over here, we'll do yet another rectangle, and we gotta make sure we're using odd numbers. One, two, three, four five six seven yep perfect then i want to mark up this area out here for like a front patio of sorts we'll go with a pink door of course 
Now that the basic frame is in, it's time to get to work on the roof where we get to use our concrete for the very first time. I'm also gonna go ahead and use a little bit of birch wood up at the top here just to help us kind of start to frame it out and get some sort of a logical shape in here. First bit of pink is going in. Oh, I hope this looks good. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's a bit of a bold color choice, but I think I can get behind it. Let's just try to layer in some of this powder as well to maybe sort of help break things up. Yeah, that, that's a bit better. Okay, now that the main tower is in, we need to also get to work on the other roofs. <laughs> these are the most important part of a Victorian house for sure. The walls on these are detailed, but it's hard to get that level of detail in Minecraft, so I need to work really hard to get these roofs just right. Well, uh, this is certainly a choice. You know what? I'm gonna use some world edit here to do a very quick color change so I can see which color I would prefer. So this is the birch option place near 50 birch planks dark oak planks Ooh, you know what i feel like this is the move it's way more contrasty okay hold on let's fix it okay i like this better but there's one more problem <laughs> this tower right here is a little too short so once again i'm gonna come in with my world edit and i'm gonna select it and move it up what do you think maybe about seven blocks oh yeah perfect then we just gotta connect this back together. Now let's go ahead and finish off our nice pink roof. This is most definitely a trust the process sort of process because this looks really weird. Let's choose our wall color, shall we? I'm gonna start off with spruce, but we can always change it out if we don't like it. Yep, I think that's definitely a bit better and a bit more Victorian. Okay, my next problem. I think I like the roof and I also really like the pink so far. <laughs> However, it doesn't go so well with the stripped birch that I chose. And since we're already in a birch forest biome, why don't we go ahead and switch that stripped birch to something else? Quick world edit command, there. <laughs> oh, that's actually not bad. I think I could work with that. Excuse me, pig. There's gotta be a window here. Thank you. It's lucky that we got wood because it means that I can use all of these more fun details throughout the build. I think in order to tie in some of the pink, I'm gonna try to use a little bit of crimson, maybe along here. Right, these details are looking way better, but now we need one of my puppies favorite parts. Lately, me and Winnie have been spending a lot of time in real life outside on my front deck, so I want to make sure that her house definitely has one. And this is sort of a staple of Victorian houses anyways, to have this sort of nice wraparound front patio to hang out on. On my front patio, I have a couple of chairs, so perhaps I'll build those maybe out of some crimson wood. So it'll sort of be like chairs like this for us to relax on. I can have my lovely cup of coffee out here. Oh, let's do that with a flower pot. And Winnie can run around on the front patio. That's perfect. Now let's, uh, let's just get a quick roof on it. I think fence gates are definitely a great opportunity for some intricate sort of details along here. Do you know what? That actually pulls this whole thing together. Look at this house. Okay. I'm happy with this. And this isn't on the list, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little pathway up to the front door. Okay, now that the outside is good and detailed, let's go ahead and move to the interior. Oh boy, there's so much room for activities in here, which is a good thing because my puppy is very energetic, as most puppies are. I'll insert some clips of her doing her favorite activities in my house right here so you can see. Winnie, are you waiting for me to go outside? Should I put my boots on? Oh, I'll put them on, okay. Now 
that you've got a good idea of what the real life Winnie is like, let's try our best to design an interior. There are gonna be a couple of really key features here that we're gonna need. One of those things is most definitely a bed and the other is most definitely a kitchen. Winnie is a chocolate lab and labs like to eat and they also like to sleep. So I think what we'll do is we'll have the bedroom be sort of over here and then maybe a kitchen over this way near our entrance. In my house, I have a big white fireplace in the living room. So I'm going to kind of mirror that here in this room. We'll just do like a nice little Minecraft fireplace with a mantle where we can put some of her favorite things. We have to make sure we bar it off because fire is dangerous for puppies. We all know that, right? As tricky as it may be, I'm going to try to continue this sort of quartz theme into the kitchen. In the kitchen, very importantly, we need to have a kitchen island because that is one of the things that I have in my house and Winnie loves to run around it. We'll need some chairs for her humans to eat at. Right, it's not much, but this will definitely do as a kitchen. Very important in the porch to put down a rug. Doggy paws get very wet outside. We also want some hooks for our things, as well as a chest for the leash. Now for the big comfy couch in the living room. I think we'll just do it out of wool. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea how to build a couch. I, I don't normally do interiors like this, but I'm practicing. This is me practicing. And in my living room, I have two couches, so we'll just do another one over here. I don't actually have a TV anywhere in my house, so Winnie is not really used to that, so perhaps we'll leave it at the couches and the fireplace here. This looks great, I think. Okay, so now we have it so that when you come inside, you immediately can go this way and enter the main living space, but I also want to divide off this space right here. I'm gonna make a little accent wall out of sandstone. Don't mind me. And then, since puppies sleep so much, I feel like it's important that we do a really nice bedroom. So let's take up this bed and maybe make a big one right in the middle of the room, right here. This is really starting to come together. I'm gonna place a jukebox in here because calming music really helps with a sleepy puppy. Then over here, we're gonna use coral and waterlogged slabs to do a very special, look, my bad, hold on, flooded the room, a very special sort of shake carpet. I have a carpet in my office and Winnie loves running around on it so this should sort of represent that. And then I have a box over here for all her toys. She'll love this as well because she can look outside at the forest. Oh it's perfect. Okay Winnie's house is looking amazing. It's just a couple of rooms but that's pretty realistic to be honest because when you have a small puppy it's a pretty good idea to keep them in a smaller area where you can keep a really good eye on them. Now it's time for the most important part. We've got to get our lovely Winnie in game. I have to admit, I'm a little sad that Minecraft doesn't have more dog textures, but there you go, Winnie. You're beautiful. <laughs> you live here now. Look at all of this. Yeah, yeah. Take it all in. Sit on the chest. That's exactly what real life Winnie would do. So that's accurate. That's accurate. Well, everyone, I do believe that's this challenge finished. This was a lot of fun as a silly little introduction to my brand new puppy. It was nice to take on a challenge and build outside of my comfort zone slightly, even in just a small way. I genuinely think this house suits my puppy so well, funnily, it's in the right biome. The pink grooves are really cute. The color that I chose kind of does look like chocolate and she's a chocolate lab. So all in all, I think it worked out great. Thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye everyone!